Hello everybody, welcome along to our video presentation. Today we're going to look at business survival strategies during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a very serious topic, you know, and things are getting very, very serious. You know, we're late March here, you know, the government's just, you know, announced, you know, borders are closed, people aren't flying, businesses are affected, and we're going into lockdown very, very soon. So I just thought it'd be appropriate to just have a little bit of a chit chat, you know, give you some thoughts, give you some ideas, and get people thinking, because it's going to be the toughest thing any business has ever been through certainly in my lifetime you know and i've been doing accounting now since 1985 so this is an incredible set of situation it needs a lot of thought a lot of awareness and you need to be at your best endeavor you know as always we start with a disclaimer these are my, my views my thoughts and and particularly in this world things are changing so rapidly so so aggressively that we don't know what's coming and we cannot make any real long-term things but review your situation hopefully i'll give you some tips to get through this and we'll get all through this together starting off the, the the secret thing is we've just got to get survival and the most important mission here is just to get to the other side intact it doesn't matter how big we are it doesn't matter how brave we are it doesn't matter if we don't look the same as long as we can get to the other side of this however long that takes that really is the mission and you're going to have to be focused to do so you know the starting point is not necessarily financial it's actually going to be from the health issues assessing your work work conditions making sure you've got safe sitting and hygiene at the moment you still can come to your work office for many businesses although others are closed restaurants are now on shutdown they can only do takeout at the moment you know but you have to make sure you've got your social distancing one and a half to two meters and take these things seriously hygiene is essential make sure everybody is being as clean as they can sanitation as best you can all these things but don't be afraid to let your staff know these things you know you're going to have to also enforce their own self-discipline that if they're remotely not feeling well they need to stay at home there is no if but or maybe on this it is compulsory two weeks then in in isolation and hopefully they ride through and don't have any too many too many ailments but they have to be the ones of self-discipline it's too late once they've walked in the door so try and make sure they understand that you need to assess your ability to work remotely everybody's been testing that it seems like it would be easy in the modern age but believe it or not it's never been tried on this scale we don't even know if internet will hold up with the volume that's going to be at home so very interesting so try and see how you can do that see if you've got the systems to do it and whatever you do you have to look at your organization aggressively and assess where you can be more efficient you know where there's any waste you need to trim that right now there is no time to carry it any longer you need to be actioned on that straight away you know and of course don't forget the importance of your staff's emotional well-being that ties into efficiency if they're still feeling depressed and worried about what's going on guess what that efficiency is going to drop off by miles talk to people communicate with them let them know your thoughts let them know your plans you know track that well-being if you keep them communicated it will be better off in terms of the financial elements it is a domino effect that we're looking at now you know will people pay their bills all these things there's so much confusion but some tips to get to it is just assess your financial strength what are your cash reserves what are your commitments what is your payroll have you got access to any other funds what will you do to survive can you ask your landlord for reductions you know everything should be considered nothing is off the table in the current environment you know, in terms of things you have to review on a worst case scenario some of the things that you need to consider have never been contemplated in our thought process ever before but you have to assess you know, how will social lockdown impact your business whether it's drastically in the form of hospitality or modestly in the form of you know an accounting firm uh, hypothetically but it's going to be significant to all of us you have to look at supply disruption will you still be able to get the goods and services you need through this time can they adequately serve you are they one of the essential services assess the impact if that supply chain is further disrupted other than it already is you know strange enough you're going to have to look at is your client willing to continue to pay for your service are you sufficiently valuable in their life at this time that they will pay you because money is going to be an issue if people are losing their job if businesses are struggling to keep payroll and if we don't pay each other that domino moves very very fast so we have to be very open in our communication and ensure that we're going to get paid for the work that we're doing otherwise that's going to drastically affect our capacity to survive 
Look at the necessity of your service. You know, if you are a frill, you may not be able to survive this. People are going to do everything that is non-essential last. So make sure you can make yourself as essential as possible to your clients and stay a necessary com a commodity in the marketplace. Sadly, we will have to watch out for scams and virtual viruses. There is gonna be an abundance of, you know, you know, unscrupulous people that will look to exploit everyone that's vulnerable, including businesses. You know, virtual viruses, I think are gonna escalate during this period because people are gonna be sending pandemic emails. Be careful what you open, be very, very diligent there for you and your staff. One of the things that you may wanna consider as you are you know, struggling for cash flow, struggling to keep your staff is with your key personnel, perhaps consider the option of opening your business up for equity investment where maybe they don't take cash as salary they might take some shares or they might look at some capital investment if they've got savings that might be the easiest form of capital and ability to retain key personnel key talent and key income producers in your business don't leave any stone unturned assess it assess how important people are to you and respect that because they could be the ones that get you through the, the, the uh, crisis. And of course, keep a beady eye on government support. Now government support is never enough, but it's there, it's essential, and it needs to be considered. It's gonna be changing on a constant basis, so look out for it. As at this moment, some of the issues uh, support that's available for small businesses is the federal government has just announced a $100,000 PAYG subsidy. Now unfortunately, this is not just a unconditional $100,000 cash, it is a six month rebate of your tax you know, withheld from your staff salary. So you're gonna to have to keep employing people in order to get this subsidy. So it certainly will be a, a lifesaver, but it's not a cash injection. So it may make it a you know, chicken and egg situation. Can you afford the salary in order to get the subsidy? That's gonna be the tough question. If you don't have staff, there's $20,000 available if you're a non-PAYG at the moment. There's also a bank guarantee supports thing, half of your debt for loans of up to $250,000. Now this is early days in announcement. We're yet to see how the banks are gonna police this, how they're gonna assess whether you're worthy to do this. This loan has been toted just for working capital to get you through this you know, next period, but it's gonna be difficult administratively. So we're gonna watch, watch that space very, very closely. You know, um, and you can imagine the federal government is going to continue to bring out programs as we go. I think we're already up to over a hundred billion plus in support programs. It's going to be having to put you know, new programs in all the time. State governments have also stepped up to the party. There's some payroll tax relief and there's also some cash grants. So investigate your options, make sure you get access to it. You're going to need every single cent you can. And uh, the, government, the federal government has also allowed access into your superannuation plan if you have one. You can do two lots of $10,000 withdrawals. You know, again, it's token in the main, but every dollar will count. So that's 10,000 before 30th of June 2020 and a further 10,000 after 1st of July. That may well be the difference between survival and, and failure. So keep an eye on these. This is gonna be a very, very fluid space. Watch the government, they're gonna have to do lots of things. You know, in terms of uh, if you do get that support, please don't just hold that cash. Don't just take it and run with it. Don't put it away for a rainy day. It is a rainy day. The most important thing is that any support you get, allow it to go through the system. Move it to your, your salaries, move it to your suppliers. If you don't pay your bills, then everything stops. So we've got to make sure that we're all committed to the same goal. You, know, you want to maintain your staff and activity as best you can. Obviously, if you don't have the activity, you can't hold those staff unless you've got very, very deep pockets, which very few small businesses would. But you need to make sure that you explain to them what's going on. You know, talk to your clients, talk to your business partners, talk to your staff as to what you can do and what you can't. And make sure you try and keep your word because if this goes longer than a few months, you're gonna need the favor of many, many people to get you over the line. So you need to be respectful and keep your word during this time more than any other time in your business career. You, know, you need to review everything you're doing and try and be better at everything. And this may be the chance to stop, pause, reflect, and adjust. If you've been waiting for the time, if you've been waiting for the excuse, this could well be it. And this needs to be across the business, 
you know, from every single employee, what can they do to improve, to improve efficiency, outcomes, performance, client expectations? It needs to be assessed right now. And of course, you also have to be honest with what are your weaknesses in the business? Where can you find those and deal with them? And what is your capability? You know, can you do more? Can you do less? Can you survive financially and physically in the operation with a reduced workforce or not? And of course, you've got to look at any opportunity that you could take in this time, if at all possible. It might mean that you could retool your machinery for alternative products. It might mean that you offer a different service. You deliver it in a different way, but you have to seek alternatives right now. You have to be multidimensional again, more than ever before. And don't forget the community requirements. You have a responsible role to the community as a business. You know, fulfill those obligations and the community will pay you back. If you look after your clients, you look after your staff, they will be more inclined to look after you and help you through this rough patch if you ask for that help. You know, those delivery strategies, have a look what you can do. There's gonna be lockdowns, there's gonna be restrictions. You're gonna to have to say, well, how can we get to our clients differently? Things like this video is an alternate delivery strategy. I usually do lots and lots of seminars all around the world. That's not gonna happen for the next six months at least. So you'll be seeing these videos more and more from us and you might have to look at that strategy yourself. You know, if you can, get towards perfection. It's the thing we always try and attain to as a business, but very rarely achieve and fix up anything that's messy. If your files aren't clean, if you're missing information, if you've been waiting to go through that drawer, do it now whilst the staff have time before it's too late and they're back busy again and you go back to the same mess. Because don't forget, if you can get to perfect or as close to it during this lowdown, then you will recover quicker. If you've still got all your weaknesses and imperfections, recovery will take much, much longer when eventually the sun starts shining again. When you're considering you know, what to do next, you have to also look at technology as something that can enable you and assist you to work better in all assets of your business. If you've been a late adopter, start taking it on now. If you've been resistful, become accepting. And take the chance to, with your staff, whilst they're working from home and need technology, to get them committed to make it right. You know, this will help you rebound quicker. And that's really what you want. You know, in terms of finishing off the essential ingredients for survival, well, it's not going to be easy. I hope this is some sort of thing, but we're going to be digging deep into the toolbox. And the first thing you need is genuine team leadership. You can't demand, you can't enforce, you can't stomp at the moment. You need to be an inspired leader. You need to be well communicated and you have to get people to come with you. They will not drag themselves along. You have to make sure they want to make your business survive and will be part of that. You, know, you have to be totally aware of your situation. The health situation is dire. The, the lockdown situation is unbelievable, but you have to find out how that impacts you and what you can do to adjust as it unfolds. And be prepared to act. And there's gonna be lots of actions that you are not going to like taking. You're gonna to have to lay some staff off. You're gonna to have to you know, curtail some investment projects. You're gonna to have to disappoint some people, but don't be afraid to make the big decisions for the survival, but at all times keep your integrity. Information and communication will be the secret. You have to tell people what's going on. Your staff need to know how things are going. Your clients need to know that they're important to you. And you need to keep your, your business partners and everyone involved in your organization well informed so that you all get through this in a collaborative approach. You know, community must be before individuality. You cannot put your self-interest ahead of your clients, ahead of your staff, ahead of anybody else. It's essential that you don't do that. Do act in a way of great decency, respect, and most importantly, sincerity. You know, these are the traits that will get you through. These are the traits that will make your, your business come out stronger, make you a better person, and make your staff respect you even more and be far more loyal on the other end. And of course, never underestimate pure determination and perseverance. You have to just keep pushing through this. It's gonna get harder and harder and harder before it gets easier. Test your resolve, put yourself to this test and come out in the best way. Include everybody that you need in and around you because you cannot do this alone. It is gonna take a full team effort 
to make you come out of this in any form and hopefully intact and ready to rebound if and when this ever occurs. Now, if you can do these most important things, we have a chance of survival and coming out the other end. If you don't, it's gonna be extremely tough for you to get through this. There is nothing we've ever seen like this ever before in the history of mankind. You know, if we can fix this, if we can get through this, it's gonna take a minor miracle and a hell of a lot of determination at all levels of our community. Hopefully you come out the other end with the minimum scars and an ability to claw back and, and uh, start fresh once again one day. And of course, we'll be there to help you. If you need assistance, if you need a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of you know, support, give us a call, drop us an email or get online and check out these videos and others at our website at smats.net. All the very, very best to you in your business. I know it's gonna be extremely tough. Don't give up, persevere, but get things in order. Good luck.